is Super Bowl weekend. And my Niners are getting ready to bring home the Lombardi Trophy. Let's get it. What up? It's your boy Mac the Wise Soul, your home for sneakers and sports. And we back at Super Bowl weekend, like I just mentioned. Now, <clears throat> look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Been out a couple weeks, your boy wasn't feeling that great, but I'm back. I'm back, and we're gonna talk about it because you know we had to. It's my squad. We in the Super Bowl. The rematch. The rematch from four years ago. It's going down San Francisco versus Kansas City. I, you know, I'm not going to keep y'all too long because you already know how this is going to go. You know who I'm rooting for. You know who the squad is. But I, I really want to know what you guys think. So before we even get into the video, let me know in the comments below who you have winning the game. Give me your score predictions, all of that. And don't forget, you can follow your boy on all social media platforms at The Wise Soul, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. I'm there. Anyway, let's get into it. So yeah, Super Bowl 58. <sighs> Super Bowl 58. God, we got to win this game. We have to win this game. When I say we, I mean the Niner faithful, the Niner gang, because this gang over here, we have to do it. Kyle Shanahan has to get this done, but he has a, he has a tough test, man. A tough test. Andy Reid, Pat Mahomes, who a lot of people a lot of people out there are already calling the GOAT. I mean, it's a little early. He's on the way, but he ain't quite there yet. But nevertheless, let's kind of get into this game here, man. So this matchup, man, this matchup is crazy. I don't think going into the playoffs, this is what we saw the Super Bowl being. There might have been a couple people out there who predicted this being the outcome um, of the Super Bowl or the, or the matchup in the Super Bowl, the, you know, the lack of a better term here. Um, the Niners obviously going into it, the number one seed in the NFC. A lot of people thought we would be there, but Kansas City, let's talk about Kansas City's road to the Super Bowl. They beat the Dolphins. They beat, and that was at home. That was the only home playoff game they had. They went on the road to beat Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills, a tough road matchup. And then they went to Baltimore and knocked off the number one seed, Baltimore Ravens with MVP Lamar Jackson and you know as every other playoff season every other year Pat Mahomes has been in the playoffs he's been the reason they got this far but not this year not this year that Kansas City defense led by Chris Jones <clears throat> they've been holding it down like they've really been getting things done for them they've been locking up the opposing offenses the only issue with them they're liable for is in the run game. But for whatever reason, it seems that teams want to try to pass on Kansas City. And that's not the answer. Passing on Kansas City will definitely, definitely get you behind in the game because their pass defense is elite. Their corners, McDuffie, Sneed, they're elite. Like, they're really elite. So passing is not the way to do it. Uh, Kansas City's offense... Andy Reid, you can never put anything past Andy Reid. Arguably the best play caller in the NFL currently. He's going to be in his bag, ready to go, have Pat Mahomes ready. Pacheco, he, he might try to run the ball a little bit. I talked to a couple of Kansas City fans earlier this week, and they, they get nervous with, with Andy Reid because they feel like he gets away from the run game, which that will be something we'll talk about when we talk about the Niners as well. But Kansas City's keys, I think, to winning this game they, they, they definitely got to run the ball. The 49ers are, you know, susceptible to, to, to running backs, and we've been, we haven't stopped the run a lot this year. So if Kansas City can do that, they, they might have a chance. They might have a chance. But, hey, 
I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to have a chance. Pat Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, they'll, they'll have okay games. It's because that's what they do. Travis Kelsey is arguably the best tight end in football, maybe the greatest tight end of all time. You know, Gronkowski, you know, whoever you want to argue with that. Kelsey's right up there. You know, Shannon Sharp, all of them, Gonzalez. But is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough to beat the 49ers? I mean, the 49ers defense, they haven't played well in the playoffs, at least in the first half of games. And that's going to be the key when it comes to the 49ers. How well do we play in the first half? So let's go ahead and just get right into the 49ers, man, because, you know, that's my squad. That's who I feel best about talking about. That's who I want to talk about. Hey, and if you if you a Niner gang or Niner faithful, this is the part you're going to want to listen to. Kyle Shanahan, we're going to get it done this time. We are going to get it done. And the keys for Kyle Shanahan, I think it's Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey running the ball, committing to the run. I think Shanahan has learned his lesson and as long as we don't get behind, you know, by a, by a big margin, I think we're going to have a nice balance. But I honestly don't think it's going to be all Christian McCaffrey this time. I think Kyle's going to get in his bag. And Kyle might go ahead and break out Debo, you know, to, to get some running games in. Because you know, remember when he beat, he beat the Cowboys and he had Debo in the backfield and he was being real physical? I think we're going to get that Kyle Shanahan play calling. We're going to have Debo all over the field. Debo is going to be the main weapon in this game. And I wouldn't be surprised if somehow, some way, Debo is the MVP of the Super Bowl. Not saying it's going to happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Just don't, you know, if it happens, come back to this video and say, hey, wise, you were wise to choose that way. Because <laughs> it, it might happen. It really might happen. But also the 49er defense. Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, the defensive line. Really? The defensive line. If Bosa, Chase Young, Hargrave, Armstead, if you guys can get home and get pressure on Mahomes, just you haven't been that great in the postseason. The pressure just hasn't been there. And I can arguably say it hasn't been that great this entire season. But I only need it for one game. One day in Vegas. That's all we need. One day in Vegas, pressure Mahomes, pressure Kansas City, and apply it to him, and we're coming home with that trophy. Offensively, like I said, Purdy, Purdy is not going to make the mistakes. A lot of people think, you know, oh, he's a game manager. That's fine. He's going to manage to win this game. That's what he's going to need to do. Spread the ball out to your weapons. McCaffrey, Debo, Ayuk, Kittle. Let them make plays for you. Offensive line, if you guys can hold up, let, let, let them get a little time. And if Purdy, if it breaks down, man, like you just did two weeks ago against Detroit, by the way, Detroit, <laughs> you've been eliminated. I, I wasn't here to do that, you know, so I have to bring that back. Purdy, hey, tuck that ball and run, my guy. Tuck that ball and run. People sleep on you because they think you can't run. He got a little heat, man, so don't be sleeping on my guy Purdy. You know, getting a few yards here. If he get like 30 yards rushing, we're winning the game. We're winning the game. But I just need Kyle Shanahan to get out of his own head, make the correct play calls, and let your team perform as you know your team can. That's all we have to do to go ahead and win this game. A lot of people are picking Kansas City. I know it says the 49ers are the favorites. But everywhere I've been watching on TV the past week, two weeks, Oh, Kansas City this, Kansas City that. Oh, their defense this, Pat Mahomes this, Travis Kelsey that, Taylor Swift this. That's all I've been hearing. And you know what? That's fine. Disrespect us. Disrespect us. I'd rather go into it being the underdog and not having people wanting us to win the game. Personally, I'm perfectly fine with that. And you know what? That's why we are going to pull this off. And here is my prediction. Here is my prediction. San Francisco, 31, Kansas City, 20. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the game is not going to go how you think it's going to go. Yes, it's going to be an 11-point game, but it's really not going to be that close. It's really not. I think we get away from this and get a big lead early. 
Kansas City gets a couple late scores to make it look cute. But I think <laughs> it's not going to be a close game. That's what I'm That's what I'm going with, man. That's what I'm going with. I got a couple KC fans out there. The sneaker world. My boy Carne. I know, I know you're a KC guy. Y'all not winning this game. And if you do, I will be right back on here giving you your props and congratulating you. I ain't going to like it, but I'm going to do it. Also, hey, you see that sneaker right there? Air Jordan 4 reimagined, touchdown. We'll get into that in another video. You know, I, I got to sprinkle in the sneaker stuff because, you know, that's that's what the channel was based off of, sneakers and sports. Air Jordan 4 Brett, the, hey, that sneaker is nice, man. Y'all are going to love it. Y'all are going to love that sneaker. Anyway, again, thanks for tuning in. It's your boy, Mac the Wise Soul, Super Bowl 58. Again, let me know in the comments who you have. Tell me the score, your predictions. I'm going 31 20 49ers it's gonna happen i'm getting this lombardi trophy number six i'm excited i feel really good about this one y'all <laughs> i feel really good again thanks for tapping in don't forget hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the like button share everything follow me on all social media platforms and i'll see y'all in the next episode it's your boy mac the wise soul i'm out gang